All right, GTA Definitive Edition is by far the worst game in terms of optimization and bugs. I mean, the amount of bugs in this game is tremendous, yet this game is fun and it recalls our old memories. And here we are with the most optimal settings to avoid frame drops, fix lags, and make our game look more smooth and awesome. Hey guys, BearFox here and welcome back to another video where we talk about game optimizations, best settings, and much more. So consider subscribing if you are new. Also, I want to let you guys know that we are really close to making subscribers and I am really really dying to see that number on my screen so I hope you consider subscribing I love you all and now let's roll the intro while we're talking about FPS drops do you guys know why FPS drops at the first place it is because of the outdated drivers in your device and it is really frustrating to update every drivers manually this is why I partnered the driver booster 9 Driver Booster 9 offers you to scan all the outdated drivers in a single click. Just open up the app, hit scan, and you're ready to go. Also, you guys can update all your drivers in a single click as well. Pretty impressive, huh? Driver Booster 9 have tons of other features which are more impressive. Right below scan, you guys will have the boost feature, where you guys can have game boost, which will stop unnecessary apps and services for a better gaming experience. Just hit turn on and enjoy better gaming at a single go. Moreover, you also have system optimized features, which automatically removes junk files, privacy traces, and much more, which are not good for your PC. Not only this, but Driver Booster 9 has its own dedicated tool segment where you guys have fixes to all the common problems such as no sound, device error, clean invalid device data, network failures as well as bad resolution. If this was not enough, they also added offline driver updater feature. And this works like a charm. This application is not just a classic application, it also allows you to change the color of the skin as well. How cool is that? Also, if you guys find it hard to find your PC specifications, you have it all in one tab. Just click on this right section of the screen and you guys will have access to all of the system information that you needed. Driver Booster 9 is a must-have application and I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below. Download it today and the first 200 users who uses the activation code provided in the description below will get Driver Booster 9 Pro for absolutely free. Don't miss out this opportunity, go download Driver Booster 9 from the link in the description below. And now let's move ahead to the video. Alright, so all of the settings I'm gonna be showing you guys in this video will be relative of the game you are playing. So follow the same settings in all three games of the trilogy and you will find equivalent results everywhere. Alright, so as you guys can see right now I'm using the ultra settings. That means everything is maxed out, everything is at its peak. And as you guys can see, I am getting roughly around 50 to 60 FPS, sometimes over 60. But you know, we always want more FPS, we want it to go around 90, over 100. So in that case, what are the settings that we need to change in order to get more FPS, reduce lags, and fix everything in GTA Trilogy? Let's get started. Alright, so first things first, open up your settings, locate graphics tab, and over here, there are a few changes that you need to change. Now, I won't tell you to set everything at low that will minimize the fun of the game. I have found some settings that will give you instant FPS boost, keeping everything on the highest settings. So, first things first, turn on VSync. Now, for some reason, in GTA Trilogy series, turning on VSync will actually give you better FPS. Next thing you need to change is the car reflections. Now most of you will have planar, cube map or something else but you need to set it to screen. Screen will minimize the shaders of your vehicles instantly giving you better FPS in game. As soon as I apply screen shaders you guys can see instant FPS boost in my gameplay. Next most important setting is the vehicle light quality. You'll find this in the bottom of the graphics panel. Just scroll all the way down until you find the vehicle light quality and make sure to put it to low. Now this thing will just reduce the light emitting from the headlamps or tail lamps of the vehicles. It won't impact your game seriously, it just makes it more sophisticated. I believe it won't change your gameplay experience so just set it to low and it will give you more FPS. 
You guys can also change the graphics quality to high or medium according to your PC, whichever suits best for you. Even doing so won't affect your game much. The game still looks good and no disable. All in all, you will still get the feel of the game. Moreover, you guys can give your PC specs and I will be giving you guys best settings for GTA Trilogy for all three games. So go ahead in the comment section, let me know your PC specs. I'll try to respond each one of you personally. Well, I hope this video has helped you out and if it did, make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Also check out our sponsor, Driver Booster 9 who made this video possible. Go to the link in the description below, download Driver Booster 9 and let them know that you are Bear Fox fam. We'll see you guys in the next amazing video. Video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox, and peace out.